God made the world, put seaweed and cow dung, made that field. And your son's sons will take care of it, boy. That's some field. Good evening, ma'am. That's the rent for your field. Thank you, Mr. McCabe. Your anniversary must be soon. Yes, ten years next week. Ten years? It is a long time to be in Mordnan. Long enough. What use is the field here without having a man to farm it? No use. Do you see, we were thinking about getting Tyke settled. Does it ever occur to you to sell it? Ever? You know well I've no son of my own. I think about it all the time. Well, you'll be in good hands with us, ma'am. Good day. I'm going to sell the field. It's the Bull McCabe's field, ma'am. He rents it from me. It was full of rocks when he got it, ma'am. It will be sold by public auction. What the bull say when he hears this? What the bull say when he hears this? <laughs> I don't know what he'll say, but he won't be happy. And which one of ye here would go against him? So she's putting up the field, is she? That's right. By public auction. Well, what'll happen? Well, men will make bids, Bull. Bids? Bids for my field? Who here would insult me by bidding for my field? There might be outsiders, Bull. Outsiders? Outsiders? Are these the same outsiders that drove us to the four corners of the world? Drove us to the coffin ships? The English are gone, Bull. Gone? Gone because me and my type drove them out of here. Gone, Flanagan, but not forgotten. Well said, Bull. Well said. You're the Bull, you're the Bull, you're the Bull. The widow will get £50 for her field. Father Vivian will get his Easter Jews. And all will be well in Shuldin Carob. Give a drink to the house. Hey! Hey! Tip around her, Flanagan. Where's the McGraw together? Here she is, the one in yellow. 
She ain't a good. I can talk, bud. She should want to. Pike is no orator. She's a damn of a pair of hips. She'll breathe me in there, all right. Gentlemen, good to see you all here. You may start Flanagan, but the best man will. Now, gentlemen, will anyone make me an offer for this fine field? Talk to five pounds. <laughs> 35 pounds for Mr. O'Donnell. Any advance now on 35 pounds? 40 pounds. Oh, 40 pounds for Mr. McKay. 40 pounds to the Bade Woods. Forty pounds twice. Forty five pounds. <laughs> forty five pounds for Mr. O'Donnell. And he advanced now on forty five once. Forty five twice. Fifty pounds. Fifty pounds from Mr. McCabe. Is this to be the last and final bit of the day? Fifty pounds once. Fifty pounds a little bit twice. Fifty five pounds. Do I hear that correctly? Fifty five once. Fifty-five twice. Sixty pounds. Sixty pounds for Mr. McCabe. Sixty once. Sixty-five pounds. Sixty-five pounds the man the back once. Seventy pounds. Seventy pounds for Mr. McCabe. Seventy once. Seventy twice. Seventy-five pounds. Eighty pounds. Eighty pounds for the bull McCabe. This is to be the last and final bit of the day. Eighty pounds once. 80 pounds twice! Stop! This field will not be sold for 80 pounds. There is a reserved price on this field of 100 pounds. It is my field and I am selling it and I am going back to my own people. Let the lady through! Let her through, I said! Not limestone in them that you could build highways all over Ireland. But I could see you could use them, Father. Your plans are noble, Peter. People don't like change. I'm worried.
Why are you getting involved, Father? It's none of the church's business. It's the widow's field. She can sell it who she likes. It's my field. I dug the rocks out of it with my bare hands. That green grass is all I own and possess. And here in the sight of God, I cannot let it be taken from me. Can't you find another field? Another field? Yes, but you're some farmer to these paths. This is the widow's field. She's the right to sell it. It's the law. It's common law. Common law? Well, there's a law stronger than the common law. And what's that? The law of the land. When I was a young lad, my father and I walked the field. One day he sensed a drop of rain before we brought in the hay. My mother, she walked down the far corner. She fell backward, so to speak. I ran over to her. I called my father. He, he came over. He knew she was in trouble. He went down on his knees. He said it knacked a contrition into her ear. He knew she was dying. He said, run and fetch a priest. I said, I can't. We need to bring in the hay first. There was tears in his eyes, tears of pride. He was delighted. He had someone who was going to look after the land. And if you think, or you think, that I'm going to face my mother in heaven or in hell without this field, but you have something else coming to you. No yank, uniform, collar, or weapon will stand in my way for this field. Yank now and go home. I hope you realize you're breaking the law. I said, Go home, Yank. Go home, I said. Give me a bit. Give me a bit. Give it home. One day. One day. Give it home, day. Give it home, day. Get up, day. Get up. Sorry for having offended thee. Oh Lord, I'm sorry. <laughs> 